and I was like, how could you do that? And then they just like stood there and laughed at me. What the? <laughs> yeah, but I don't even like her. Really? I thought you were friends with her. Yeah, I thought so too. Okay, class, we're going to get started. She just cut me off. And so, please, everyone, uh, quiet down. And so, the paper in front of you guys all have a pencil, right? I don't have a pencil. Um, there's pencils right next to you. But those are colored. I don't want colored ones. Okay, well, everyone else has a colored one, so just please pick one. But I don't want a colored one. I want a normal one. Do you want a pen or something? Because I cannot help you with that. All I want is a normal pencil. <laughs> <sighs> Look, I'll see if there's a normal pencil over here. Um, well, this one looks kind of like a normal pencil. Maybe. He'll believe it. Okay, here's your normal pencil. That's pink but whatever. Anyways, so you guys all have a pencil and your paper in front of you. So everyone has a different paper because this is gonna be a pre-practice test um, for your test next week. And we're also having a math test today. That's kind of lame. Okay, well, you're gonna have it anyways. So um, you guys all have a different paper so you guys don't cheat. And I'm just going to be giving you guys um, a couple questions about Minx, since that's what I, we've been talking about. So, you can't cheat, and if you do cheat, then you'll just automatically get it wrong, because everyone has a different paper, like I've been saying, because I caught a couple people cheating on the last test. Um, shh, nobody has to know what was that. Anyways, so, I'm going to be giving you guys... This one question, and it's going to be a true or false question. Number one, minks can swim up to 100 feet underwater. Number two, the park's minks are gold medal Olympic swimmers. Three, pictured rocks Pictured rocks has 15 miles of cliff. Four, the park is home to an 1874 lighthouse. Five, there are 22 shipwrecks underwater at the park. Six, iron used to be forged forged in a, cer a furnace within the park's boundary. So does anybody know the answer? I do. Okay, what's the answer? I think the answer's mm, three. Um, no, it is not. That is not correct. So does anybody else have the answer? Then that wouldn't make sense for this one, so I'll does anybody have the answer class or I'm going to choose on someone random? Do you guys not hear me or something? Kids, does anybody have an answer? I don't think anybody has an answer. You should just choose on somebody random. <sighs> you know what? I guess I have to. Okay. I'll choose on... I know. I know. I know. Oh, um, okay, what's the answer? The answer is, um, the answer is, um, <laughs> uh, six. No, that's incorrect. Does anybody else know the answer? Yes. The answer is two. You're correct. <laughs> Whoa, that does not make sense. Uh, could you please read the second one again? I did not understand that. Uh, yeah, the with the false one was the park's minks are gold medal Olympics Olympic swimmers. Oh, what? Okay, and now we're gonna do one last. Which one is false? So. This is about rainbow trouts, and now I'm going to start reading. One, the rainbow trout has been introduced to every continent except Antarctica. 
Two, there are two fishing docks along the river. Three, the river is famous for its bright pink waters. Four, the river is home to 59 species of fish. Five, the park is home to 168 bird species. Six, dusk is the best time to hear animal sounds at, in the park. Does anybody know the answer to that one? That's easy. Um, do rock, paper, scissors. Oh, darn. Okay, I think the answer is two. No, I'm sorry, that's not correct. Oh. Yes, it's three. You're correct. Okay, now I'm going to be handing out the, pa the test from the math test from two weeks ago. Okay, please pass your papers down to the last person in the row. That's me. And please put your pencils back. And pass the little pencil thing down. So what were you talking about, the person that hates you? Oh, so basically, pass it down. Ugh. Here, I'll just collect all the pencils. I'm nice. Oopsies. This is a crayon. But okay. Ah, you guys are making the papers fly everywhere. Um, please put those in a nice pile. Are you kidding me? This, this, and this, and this. There we go. Okay, please hand those to me. There's so much around here. Um, okay, thank you. Anyways, um, you can go sit down and I'll pass these out. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be saying your guys' grade out loud because... You guys should be proud of your grade. So, Letty got an A+. Plus. Yay! Ben got a B+. Plus. Oh. Olive, um, you got a D. What? Ali, you got a, um, A-. minus. Yay! Yeah. Luna, you got a B plus. Tom, you got an A plus, and Alvin, you got a C. <laughs> Why did I get a C? That's not fair. Well, I don't know. You just got a C. Ugh! I do not like math. How did I get a D? That doesn't make any sense. Ugh, I don't understand math. This is why I hate math. You hate math? Yeah, I always get D's, C's, and F's. And all of that on every single math test we do. I can help you with it. You can? Yeah. Uh, you can either come to my house or I can go to your house. And I can teach you. Uh, my house. Okay. You can come after school. You can just have to walk with me. Okay, well, thanks for ah, telling me that you can help me. Yeah, no problem. Okay, class, now that you all know your grade, you guys can put that next to you or put it in your backpacks. Okay, now it's silent reading time, so please pick a book, and then after you pick a book and you read for 20 minutes, then boom, you guys get to go home, so... Don't complain about it. I'll pick this book. Mm. Come on, I like this book, please. Tell me it's the right one. Yep. <laughs> hmm, which one do I want? Oh, this looks fun. Mm. What is this? A magazine? 
seems easy to read. Lemon tree! Has everyone picked their book? Yep. Yeah. Same. Come on, let's go. Miss. Miss. Yeah. I do not understand why I got such a low grade on my test. I put a lot of effort in it. Well, sadly, you didn't get them right. So I'm sorry that you put in that you put in a lot of effort and you got a low grade. But I cannot help you with that. So maybe if you talk to some other people and you get your math straight and like right and practice your math facts then you'll get it right next time you're not gonna help me no Ugh. finally we gotta go home i've been waiting for this moment for real. All right, that it? No, wait! Um, don't stand in front of the doorway. Ow! Okay, everyone in this time? Yeah, everyone's in. All right. All right, whoever has to get stopped off over here, you guys can go. Let me out! Um, did they just fall off a cliff? Uh, she'll be fine. Come on, let's go. My house is over here. Dang, you live in the rich neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, all the rich kids off. Stop calling them that. That makes us seem like we're poor. Yeah. Oops. Your mom's so nice of uh, so nice to bring us uh cookies. Yeah. This person will stop texting me. Who is it? That one kid in our class. I don't know their name, though. You don't know their name? No, but I think he's, like, in our class. Or maybe he's in the other class, you know, the, like, um, shoot. Miss Hefferly's class? Yeah, I think, like, her class. So how are you going to help me with math? Anyways, I don't actually need that. Did you just throw your phone? Yeah, don't worry. It has like two protector screens and like a heavy duty phone case. There's no phone case on that. It's fine. Anyways, mom will just buy me a new one. Um, okay then. Anyways, so basically what's your like favorite thing in this entire room? Um, these cookies? Really? Yeah. Okay, well, that's a good tip. Anyways, so, we'll start off with a basic easy question that was on the test. What's 5 minus 2? Um, 5 minus 2? Yeah, 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2. Two. It's not two. Here, bring your test. Okay, I left it on my bed. Okay, let's just go over the ones you missed. Um. Okay, you got four plus four, right? That's good. Yeah. And you got everything else wrong. That's not good. Okay. Um. Six plus seven. I mean, six plus three. Uh, 
six, seven, eight, eight. You got seven on that. Um, okay, here, we'll go with another approach. So, if I have five cookies, let me get these all laid out. Why are you using the cookies? Because it's going to be the best example. Okay. Okay. I have five cookies, right? Yep. And now, say that I take two away. How many do I have? Three. That's easy. Oh, perfect. We found out what you'll be best at. Okay. Now, say I have, let's see. Okay, I take, I have five cookies and I take one away. How many do I have left? Five. No, you have four. No. Here, let me help. Now, you have four. True. Okay. So, say you have, let's see, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, Eight cookies, and you take five away. How many do you get? Five away. Three. Perfect. Perfect. So that's how easy math is? Yep. I love math now. Yeah, now let's work on um, some more questions. Okay, now we're going to end it off with another subtracting question. So, you have 12 cookies. Okay, 12 cookies. Okay, and then you subtract 6. Uh, you got this. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops, I dropped a cookie. Sadly, can't eat that anymore. Um, these two are stuck. Um, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six! Nom, 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 Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys love math, and I also hope you guys get good grades, and yeah. And when you're doing math, have fun! And I wish you have delicious math. Like I did!